Hi all of you, this video is meant for preparing NEET SS MCH Superficiality or DNB Superficiality or any SS MCH Superficiality and what is the methodology and what are the strategies and how to prepare. Now before even going into the methodology and preparation, you should know what is the proportion of questions asked in each exam for surgery. Number one, if it is going to be NEET SS, it is going to be 150 questions of general surgery of all subtopics in surgery. If it is going to be for any SS, it is going to be or 25 to 30 questions of general surgery with subtopics and going to be 50 questions of total 80 of any SS going to be from superficiality that you are going to choose. Now let us look into the analysis of what has happened for past years and last year and this year paper. Now there is a myth that to say that students who are preparing for MCH program either by need SS or any SS. The standard of paper is going to be like a PG standard that means PG preparation of questions. I mean I need to tell you this and I have also seen the students are preparing like pre-PG preparation for surgical, surgical material in those books or those videos in certain apps to suit their preparation to pass the exam. No, it is absolutely not. Now you should understand especially for this year exam of uh, NEET SS 2023 or ENESS November session 2023. The standard of questions are very high and the kind of preparation and the material that you are going to use in case if somebody has told you or that is your mindset that with the pre-PG standards or PG general surgery standards, if you can prepare and crack this exam and it may not be appropriate. Now if you can ask me, so then what exactly is the standard that has been in surgery that has been asked? See understand in this paper of NEET SS 2023. Of 150 questions, 100 questions have been able to manage with the general surgery of high general surgery standards, not of pre-PG standards or PG standards. High end general surgery standards which are very concept based and there are few factual questions and few image based questions and procedure based questions and there could be managed with the adequate general surgery knowledge but that may not have will give you a good rank could give you a rank but there may not be very good rank to choose the specialty that you wanted and to choose the institution that you wanted. And 50 questions are of superficiality standard that means of every mean SG or an urology or a plastic or a neurosurgery or cardiothoracic and vascular surgery or onco surgery or endocrine surgery whatever it is that to the depth of the subject has been asked. I mean is that the same for any SS? Of course it is almost the proportion is less there is almost I mean one-fifth of the proportion is of 25 to 30 question but still the standard was very high. So the preparation has to be on a high standard and it should be oriented towards a general surgery to the highest level uh, and PG exit and little higher and a superficiality layer on top of it. Now you can ask me sir how is it possible to prepare on superficiality topics on all subjects? So it has become very difficult. Yes, of course, I, I totally agree with you and it is not possible to read all the superficiality books or to watch all the uh, video contents E of superficiality standard of all the specialities and it is going to be a very, very difficult task and a Herculean task. Now, there is a reason why we have made a structure in speed learning app in a way that to suit your uh, preparation and to add on to what you have already. I mean at the same time I will also tell you how to use the speed learning app for preparing for general surgery as well because people who uh, subscribe speed learning app initially when they look into the content it will be voluminous to look into various categories and what all it means and, and what does it mean for a student who is going to do it. See there is a chronology of contents which are organized in a stepwise standardized manner and they are taken by multiple faculties. So I will I will just tell you one by one. And those students who want to start their preparation in case you are going to start in the first year or second year or a third year PG program or those who have completed uh, their PG and they want to start full time or those who have done uh, 5 to 6 years back and after a gap they are going to start. Now first one should ask themselves are my basics in general surgery is good or not? I mean I have done my basics good, my knowledge on basics are very good and or you have to be strengthened, then what I will advise is 
you have to go through concept based surgery classes or basic concepts in surgery and there will be the very first fold. So, that you can just go through once. So, you will have the complete overview of general surgery that you require to know from the basics. That is the basics of general surgery. Then there are three general surgery books which are into the place of preparation. One is Bailey 28th edition and next is Subistant 21st edition and the third is the Schwartz 11th edition. Now, if you look into the all the three books, the maximum number of questions are targeted from Bailey 28th edition of uh, the questions which are asked in NEET SS 2023. We have done a recall also where we could find almost more than 75 percent of questions were asked from Bailey 20th edition. Another 20 percent of questions are coming from Subistant 21st edition according to the last uh, exam of NEET SS 2023 and less than 5 percent of questions are coming from Schwartz. So, this has to be, I mean this is the way it has happened so far. No, probably it can change next year, but we do not know, but so far whatever happened, I am just telling you. So, these three books have to be covered in the weightage of what has been asked in the recent exams. So, in the folder in uh, speed learning app in surgical MCH surgical group, where once you finish the concept based general surgery, then you have Bailey based classes 20th edition, then you have subsistent integrated surgery, subsistent based 21st edition of subsistent based classes. And along with that, you have the Schwartz also along with the every topic, there is a Schwartz of 5 percent of things are added to the relevant topics. So, this two folders of Bailey 20th edition and integrated surgery where it has both Subistant and Schwartz put together the classes will cover the entire requirement of general surgery that you wanted number one. And that will help you to attend a paper of from any question that is asked from this three books and that will be there because these classes are covered line by line and word by word. Not even a single line or word or a table or image that you will miss that you have I mean you have without this video or I mean you have not gone through the books that you will miss. It will definitely substitute and will have an end to end coverage of this three books what is required for the exam word to word line by line and page to page. There is no doubt about it. Next what it comes is there is there is a situation where we have 50 on odd questions are coming from superficiality standard. So, what you have done in speed learning app is all the superficiality post MCH faculties, I mean trained in this field for more than 5 to 6 years and they have taken classes for more than 5 to 6 batches and they are excellent and extraordinary teachers. What they have done? They have gone through Bailey 20th edition, Subistant 21st edition and Schwartz 11th edition and they have seen what is available in there and also they have mixed the super speciality uh, books or what is the relevant information and the crisp and the precise information required for each topic. So, it has been blended. Now, the blend is along with general surgery and along with the superficiality standard of each and every topic it has been done and it has been covered topic wise, chapter wise for that relevant speciality one by one. So, this is available as like SG, urology or plastic surgery, surgical oncology, endocrine surgery, cardiovascular and thoracic surgery, vascular surgery and pediatric surgery, neurosurgery. All separate folders end to end topic wise both from general surgery, blend of general surgery of almost 70 percent and almost 30 percent of superficiality standards will blend and put it in place as a content for you to read, correct. And so, this is available uh, in the display of the app which is available in the front page of general surgery for MCH. Now, every year uh, I mean we have the content getting updated and not only every year it is on a daily basis. So, we do not just prescribe or advise a student to go on for a pre-recorded classes because I mean from the students feedback what we could see is there are a lot of uh, similar apps which are doing for PG also. They have just transferred those PG preparatory material uh, of surgery or relevant material uh, to SS. No, that does not work at all. I mean it does not work. Superficiality preparation is totally different from PG or pre-PG preparation. So, we have a schedule on daily basis. So, that you are engaged on daily basis is an online interactive class. It starts in the evening from around 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock and this is a prescribed schedule given to you. So, you can attend those classes because it is going to be in the evening hours when we are relatively free and you can interact with the teachers. So, you have an opportunity to interact. So, whenever I used to take classes 
I mean, the last eight, nine months, we are taking continuous classes. Each and every topic we should discuss, we need to interact, there will be doubt, there will be an argument, why is this an answer, why not this. So, those kind of an engagement drives things to the long term memory. So, that when an actual exam, you could recollect, I mean, the conversation and the memory from what you have discussed and you can get an appropriate reasoning for a good answer. So, this happens for each and every faculty including me with all the other faculties. And in case the student is not able to attend because of his posting or because he is engaged in surgery, then let the same class is recorded and uploaded in a subsequent date within a week's time is uploaded in the app so that they can watch those classes which are completed, you not able to attend live. At the same time, topic wise MCQ is also posted and also monthly one grand exam of NEAT SS pattern uh, is posted as scheduled. So, this gives you a live motivating, encouraging environment for you to learn surgery. Now, if you ask me a uh, speed learning app, uh, I mean, what is the reference uh, point that you could say? Because, uh, see, when you when you are into the app, you have been taken care of for each and every aspect. I mean, probably you can ask your seniors who have or friends who have subscribed speed learning app and for general surgery or any of speciality. You ask the kind of support they could get, kind of the way they learn. I mean, it's one for the exam that we learn. And the other thing is, I mean, you are into some idea of into a speciality and in surgery, you really love uh, uh, the kind of surgical discussion, surgery, I mean the, the sharing of knowledge and the joy of surgery during our discussion. So, that is the beauty of these classes and one should not afford to miss it. I mean, that is, that is very, very important, okay. So, that you definitely, you will enjoy the kind of support, the guidance, the motivation and uh, it is, I mean, it is, it is driven on till the date of the exam. There was one student who tell, told me, sir, I was just stuck with an answer, then I just closed my eyes, then I just looked and you came and said, sir, this is what it is. I mean, we discussed that day, I mean, I could remember that. So, those kind of references and the kind of results that we could see, I mean, for past five years from date, started from 2017 till date, all topmost rank and overall rank are from speed. The kind of standard it engages and the faculty, the dedication, not only for the exam and after the exam, for the counselling, orientation, for the interview sessions. I mean, it is an on and on continuous process. So, the schedule is out for the this year of NEET SS 2024 and to prepare. And uh, I mean, whatever the stage of your PG preparation or PG program in general surgery or in completion, I definitely welcome you to be a part of uh, speed learning app through Speed Institute for learning uh, MCH, uh, preparation for MCH uh, general surgery or uh, superficiality, from general surgery to superficiality of any specialty that you wanted. And uh, we have produced uh, kind of almost 95 or more than 95, 95 percent of toppers we have for all specialties in, su in surgery, in superficiality or from Speed Institute. I welcome you uh, to Speed Institute for you to learn for the preparatory courses for neat SS superficiality of any specialty that you wanted or any SS superficiality that you wanted from speed learning app. Yes, and once again, I am looking forward to see you in the classes and I wish you all the best and all the success for a great year ahead for preparation of neat SS 2024 and any SS 2024. Welcome all of you.